So let's talk about a um, uh, one-to-one -one function. So how do you know that uh, a function is one-to-one -one or is main-to-one? Okay, so a function is said to be one-to-one -one if f of a is equal to f of b. Okay, so if f of a is equal to f of b, then we're going to conclude to say this function is one-to-one. -one. So for example, let's have um, one question here. Let's say we have a function which is um, f of x is equal to uh, x squared minus 1. So let's see, is this function 1 to 1? Let's prove. Okay, so a function is said to be 1 to 1 if f of a is equal to f of b. So what it means here is that in, in this function, where there is x, I'm going to put a. So I'm going to say it's going to be a squared minus 1 has to be equal to b squared minus 1. So I can shift 1 to the other side, it's going to be uh, plus, which is going to be a squared has to be equal to b squared minus 1 plus 1. So these two can cancel out, it's going to be 0. So we're going to have a squared is equal to b squared. So we are trying to make a as a subject of formula. What are we going to do? It's going to be, we're going to square both sides. Now, the moment when I square this side, meaning that I'm going to have uh, this side. This side is going to be plus or minus. So it's going to be a is equal to plus or minus b. So this, this mean, uh, what it means here is that a is equal to b and a is equal to negative b, which is not true. So we are saying that a function can only be said to be 1 to 1 if a is equal to b, okay, and not a is equal to negative b. So as we can see here, we have got two values. We have got a is equal to b and a is equal to negative b, meaning that this function is not 1 to 1, okay? So this function is not 1 to 1 because a is not equal to b. So you say, after after reaching at this stage, you know that a is equal to uh, plus or minus b, then you're going to say that the, this function is not 1 to 1 since f of a is not equal to f of b. As simple as that. Okay, so let's have another example. Let's say we have a function which is um, f of x is equal to x plus 5. Let's prove Let's see if this function is 1 to 1. So a function is said to be 1 to 1 if f of a is equal to f of b. Okay, so what it means that in the first part where there is x, I'm going to put a, so it's going to be a plus 5 has to be equal to b plus 5. I can shift 5 to the other side, it's going to be a is equal to b plus 5 minus 5. So these two guys are going to give us 0. So we're going to have a is equal to b. So as we can see, a is equal to b, meaning that this function is 1 to 1. Okay. So this is how you prove that the function is 1 to 1. Okay, so let's have uh, one more example. Let's say we have um, f of x to be equal to the square root of x. Let's prove that. Let's see if this function is 1 to 1. So a function is said to be 1 to 1 if f of a is equal to f of b. So let's see. So we're going to say um, the square root of a has to be equal to the square root of b. Okay. So I can square both sides to remove the square root. So if I do this, I do this, I'm going to find that a will be equal to b. So this function is 1 to 1. Okay. So another example which we're going to have is... Um, uh, very simple. Let's say we have um, f of x is equal to uh, 2x minus 3. Let's see if this function is 1 to 1. So a function is said to be 1 to 1 if f of a is equal to f of b. So as we can see, this is going to be 2a has to, uh, 2a minus 3 has to be equal to 2b minus 3. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift this to the right hand side. Then I'm going to have 2a is going to be equal to 2b minus 3b. 
plus 3. So these two are going to give me 0. Okay. Therefore, I'm going to have 2a is equal to 2b. So I can divide both sides by 2. I can see that a is going to be equal to b. So therefore, this function is 1 to 1 since a is equal to b. Okay. Um, let's have one more example. Let's say we have f of x is equal to x squared. So I believe this is going to be the same as the first example where we're going to say uh, a squared is equal to b squared. We get the squared both said we're going to have a is equal to plus or minus b. So since f of a is not equal to f of b, this function is not one to one. Okay, sometimes you might think of um, uh, the relations. So let's say we have x and then we have y. So let's have this now. We see how can you represent a uh, one to one function using mapping. So let's say this is um, a, this is b, this is c. Okay, then this is um, maybe capital A, capital B, capital C. So if this one goes there, this one goes here, okay, once again, this one goes there, then this one goes here. So as you can see, every element of x is only mapping to one element of y, meaning that this function is one to one. Okay, as simple as that. So using mapping, this is how you can tell to say this function is one to one if every element of x is just mapping to one element of y meaning that is one to one okay so there's also what we call many to one so there's also what we call many to one so many to one is whereby you have got a function let's say this is our mapping okay one to see the relationship which is going to be there so let's say this is a okay this is a this is b this is c and then let's have um let's have z here so if this one is mapping here, this is what's going to happen. So this is what we call many to one. So what is happening here is that many, many, uh, many values of x, they are only leading to one value of y. So that's why we're calling it as many to one. So this is many to one function. Okay. Now, sometimes you c it's possible you can use the graph to tell to say this function is one to one. Okay. So if I have my graph here, okay, then I have got a curve which is like this. Let's say maybe it's coming from here. Okay. So if you draw a line, if this line cuts only one side of the, um, it's only cut one side of the graph, meaning this function is one to one. So for example, here it's just cutting here meaning this function is going to be one to one. So for example, maybe if you have been given something like this, let's say um, you have got your graph and then you have got an equation which is like this. Okay, so if I cut my graph here straight, I'm going to draw a straight line, maybe from here all the way to this side. As you can see, it is touching three side. Okay. Meaning that this is many to one function. So this is not one to one function. A one to one function is only supposed to touch one side of the graph. So if maybe you also have uh, something like this, this, this is also not many to one because sometimes you can have this is uh, f of x is equal to maybe x squared. Okay? We even proved that this is not one to one. So yeah, as you can see, it's going to touch two sides. It's going to touch here and here. So this is not a one-to-one -one function. So this is how you you know that a function is one-to-one -one or is not one-to-one. -one. Then main to one is when you have got more values of x, then they are mapping to one value of y. That is main to one function. Okay.